Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today I'm gonna have a look at this Terra Master that Terra Master sent me. So um, I thought we should just start in the basement and um, take it out of the box and take it apart. We might as well go straight to it, right? So I did show this box in my Christmas greetings. You might have seen it before, but, but let's see what we get. So here is the box. Ah. It's an okay, nice looking box. Not much um, shit on that. There is their web address, nice. And this box is widely available. They kind of use Amazon to, to sell their products. So I don't know if you can even buy it on their homepage, but we will go into that. We get a power supply. So Terra Master branded. There is a UK plug for the power supply. This box was sent from Amazon in the UK to me, and that's why there is a UK plug in here. Um, not gonna be able to use that. And we get some screws. There are eight screws here, two and a half inches for SSD. And there is probably eight screws here. No, that's a little bit more than eight. There's 10 screws. Wonder, well, who cares about the screws? Screw that. Uh, <laughs> and we get a screwdriver. So that's a, that's a new one. We get a Terra Master cat, 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 cat six cable. Says it right there. UTP. Nice. There is some paperwork. It's a tiny little guarantee something. English product registration. And then there's a leaflet here. Uh, looks like it's how to get started. It says to go to this address and install TerraMaster storage device according to instructions. Well, we're not gonna be doing that in this video. Um, we're just gonna have a look inside of it. I plan on, on installing it later. But here is the box itself. Mm -hmm. nicely, nicely put in the box. Oh, we're gonna have to break the seal. Plastic. Okay, please do it right. Okay, so there's instructions to how to open this. Okay, this is instructions on how to put in the drives. To take them out, you just uh, put your finger under here and pull it out. But when you put it in, they highly suggest that you don't push on this thing because you'll probably break off this plastic thing but open it and push down here beneath to make sure the drive is in and then push this thing in. Now that's what it's all about. Um, inside there's an Intel processor in this one and then this smaller unit which has two bays has an Intel dual core inside of it. So it's a rather powerful machine according to TerraMaster at least. I haven't, haven't had it online yet so and also with the power supply that small it should be fairly efficient um, the case is aluminium and the front and the back is plastic so let's take the trays out and have a look inside of that um, they are totally plastic but actually pretty good quality and there is holes on the back here there is holes for regular three and a half inch hot drives on the outer side here and there is room for a two and a half inch in here so you just mount the ssd there and a full three and a half inch hot drive there that's not bad at all so let's take both of those out have a look inside. Down there is the back plane, and there is the fan right behind that. There's not going to be a lot in this box. Down here we can see the the board. But let's get a screwdriver and try and open this 
On the back there's a USB 2 and a USB 3, at least according to the colors. USB 2 is usually black and 3 is usually blue. There is a one LAN connection and that should be a gigabit connection. And there is the power block. So, screwdriver. Okay, I'll bet that the back pops off now. It did. Need to make sure that I don't lose the screws. There's one more. Still missing one. There it is. So, here is. Oi! Hmm, guess that comes out. That away. Okay, that's the main body of it. And I have seen other reviews that says that this is very well built. And I have to kind of, well, they got that one right. That's very well built and rugged. You could, you could probably put something really heavy on top of that. And that would still be pretty good. So this is the main thing. So there is kind of, there's a motherboard and there's the fan that, well they have glued the fan in there, so I'm not gonna take that apart. But more or less it's a, it's a tiny motherboard. There is even a lot of extensions on this. It has a VGA connection, but it's not occupied. So they have some things on here that is not put out to the back. Ooh. There is even the possibilities of putting in more memory here. That's awesome. I wonder if that's just a normal dim for a laptop computer that goes in there. I haven't seen the specs yet. <laughs> this is, it is more or less just a motherboard. And here is a PCI Express connection that goes up and becomes the back plane of the disks up here. That's the back plane goes directly down into a PCI Express um, X1 connection, I think. Oh, no, it's an, it's an X4 connection. So this whole thing is a little computer and it runs an operating system. Uh, there's room for another, for another network connection right there. It's not put in. Probably there are also some chips missing for that network connection. There is some chips missing down here. Um, the, the system board looks really nicely made. I can't see anything bad. The VGA connection is up here and they didn't make a plug for that. That would have been cool. There's a whole bunch of plugs along the side here. There's a, there's a CPU fan and something called F underscore panel one. Don't know what that is. Then there is an LPC connect and a VGA H connect. Clear CMOS. Maybe you could attach a screen to this after all, if you just find a connector that will go in there. It doesn't look like there is many chips missing, so there might be a screen driver on here. Here's the RAM. Um, I think I remember that it comes with two gigabytes of RAM. And that sits right down there. That's there, probably one gigabyte and two gigabyte, or one gigabyte and two gigabyte. Let's not, let's not argue about that. Awesome. And the CPU is mounted there. Mm, it's definitely does not look like that it has a socket. It's probably mounted directly down to the system board. Yeah, I can wait. I can actually see the CPU. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show. You can kind of see it in there. So it's it's soldered directly to the system board here. So it would not be possible to put in a faster CPU in this board, not without a lot of soldering work, which would be almost impossible. Oh, 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 we have something very interesting right in here. That's awesome. Oh, this fan is really bugging me. I'm gonna take it off. There. Look at that. We have a little USB stick in there. That's probably the operating system running on that. There's a USB stick and it's pointing inwards. 
I didn't see that. So you can probably run whatever on this. Maybe even boot another, run it on Linux or install something really cool. I want to take it out. Let's see if that's possible without having it fly out there. There it is. It's an eight gigabyte USB stick. It has a little tiny LED there. Huh, that's, that's tiny. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's, that's a really cool way to do that. I think, I think that's awesome. In front there is a CMOS battery. Probably a regular 2032. We can actually see that. 20 C C R 2032. It's down here. So yeah, this little box is very well built. Pretty rocket. Yeah, the the only thing really well. No. No, I don't really have any complaints. It would be awesome to have that screen connector coming out the back. I guess that's um, that's about it. I'll put it back together. I totally forgot. It comes with its own screwdriver. And yes, that works for these screws as well. No problem. The box is back together and I'm just gonna put in a couple of drives. These are Seagate drives and they have been taken out of an Enterprise SAN. So they should be fairly good quality. They're kind of old, they're from 2009, actually from 2006. So it's a fairly old drive, but well, let's see if they work. And I need the screws for the three and a half inch drives. This drive tray says hard disk number one. Let's see what this one says. That says hard drive number two. So I'm guessing this is okay. That hard drive number one would be over here. That's how you normally do it. And I'll mount hard drive number two as well. Well, so this was a look inside of the TerraMaster. I forgot to say the model number of it. Um, this is a Cloud Storage NAS Server TerraMaster and it's the model F2 220 and it's a two drive unit as you've already seen and it looks very fairly nicely and qualityly built and it has a USB stick inside which you might be able to install whatever on. This unit is really not expensive. Um, the marketing from these um, TerraMaster could tell me that this unit sells for about, what was it, 179 euros and that was, that came to 159 British pounds. I'm gonna end the video here and we'll go make another video on how to install this, see if I can figure that out and, and if I can everybody will have learned something because I haven't got the faintest idea how this works but they did say just to go to the website. so. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Connect that and go to the website. And it will probably go online and connect to my network and use the DHCP server, uh, something like that. So, but that will be the next video. See you in the next video where we test out this piece of equipment. See if it's any good for us server dudes, if we can find something good to use this for. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel to see this again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.